So now we know how to create bones and how to import images and how to link one to each other. In order to create an animation, we have to understand what a keyframe is. For this, I will need to create a bone and I'll try to make a very short animation for this bone. So first, we have to select the keyframe that we want to um, make the key position for it. So, so let's say that for the position zero, we have this position for our bone. And I will set a keyframe for it. Just I'll, I press the key button. After that, if I want to create another keyframe, I will go to the number of the keyframe that I want in my animation timeline. And now I will try to create the position for it. So let's say that I want to um, translate uh, this bone um, in here and I want to make very small rotation to it. And for this, I have to have my bone selected and to select the keyframe. Okay, so let's see what happened. So my bone will be animated from keyframe 0 to keyframe 15 and it will be translated and rotated um, as we have um, set previously. Okay, let's attach an image to this one and to see how we can define an animation for this. Let's import an image. I want to import this apple. Now I will try to resize the apple because I'm feeling that it's too big and just I will attach the bone to this image and now I will try to save my scene my apple okay and save and let's see what happens well my apple is animated okay what happens if I want to import another image and to try to transfer that, um, uh, that animation as well? So either I can replace the apple with, let's say, this character. And of course, it's animated. Or I can import another image. Let's say this animal. I will resize it a little bit. And let's attach it to the same bone. Let's see what happens. So they both are animated. And of course I can switch between those. So that's about it for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.